Boeing Starliner is back on Earth after a test that uh, was marred by an orbital error that prevented it from docking with the International Space Station. Morgan Brennan joins us right now. She is at the desk, on the desk, yes. after being right there in, in the Cape, Cape Canaveral, right? Yeah, they're uh, live and on the ground for the launch on Friday morning. The launch itself went well. The issues happened after right. this Starliner spacecraft got to space. So 7.58 a.m. Eastern on Sunday, yesterday morning, Boeing's unmanned Starliner touched down at the Army's White Sands Missile Range in New Mexico, successful ending to a botched mission in which it failed to dock the International Space Station, hurtling at 25 times the speed of sound. Uh, about a mile above Earth, in the dark, three parachutes deployed. This is a procedure that challenged Boeing in the past, so it was key to see that happen. Starliner became the first American-made human-rated orbital capsule to land on land. Big question now, what happens next? The malfunction on Friday was software-based, specifically a clock error. Still on a call yesterday, a Boeing official saying once they gather all the data, they expect 85 to 90 percent of test objectives to have been fulfilled. So what does this mean for humans getting aboard? Well, expect analysis to take weeks, if not months. Then NASA debates whether Starliner needs another test without crew, which, given the fixed price contract, Boeing would presumably pay for. <coughs> Meantime, experts say this puts SpaceX, which is also a NASA's commercial crew program, in the lead, depending on its own key safety test next month, to become the first to take astronauts from U.S. soil to space in more than eight years. You said it was a clock issue, just meaning a that clock issue. the internal clock wasn't set on the right time, so the boosters went off at the wrong time or something? Yeah, so, there, so, so a, it was a timing error, a clock error, and what essentially happened was um, the automated system within Starliner basically reaches down into the United Launch Alliance Atlas V rocket to gauge the timing and link up. Apparently, it was off by 11 hours. What? So that's part of the reason I think that this didn't show up in simations and why this was so unexpected. They don't know yet. But it's know such a stupid <clears throat> thing to have wrong. That it's poor developer. Be so frustrating. I know. <laughs> Which is why I think not a problem were... with any of the systems, just a timing. Exactly. Exactly. Oh, and this is also, I think, why NASA and Boeing have said that if astronauts were on board, this issue could have been seen and rectified pretty right, quickly. Right. That they would. That's what I wondered at the time. If somebody was actually ISS. manually there to override this, could this have been prevented? I think the most important part was that the landing came in safely right. on Sunday. You were able to take off and land with no risk to anybody who would have been on board. It was. It was to use Jim Bridenstine, the administrator of NASA's words, an absolute bullseye. Two most important parts of a space mission where humans are involved, the launch and the landing. Both of those actually went right, which is why I think this is even up for debate right now on whether a second uncrewed test is going to be necessary. What do you think is going to happen? You want to handicap it? What do I think is going to happen? Mm -hmm. oh, I think, again, this depends on SpaceX's own test. Uh, in January, I think SpaceX could potentially, uh, based on where we're at right now, be the first... Uh, again, to bring to bring humans into low Earth orbit, but I think it's a very strong likelihood that both of these companies will be doing that next year. The one other thing I would say in all of this, and NASA, the NASA administrator said this to me when we spoke uh, in Squawk Alley on Friday, is that I think this also now pushes NASA to look at other potential companies who could come into this program too, whether it's Lockheed Martin with Orion or maybe okay. Sierra Nevada Corporation, which is the other private billionaire-backed right. commercial space company.